Ladies and gentlemen, seekers of light and secret knowledge wherever you may be, you are listening to Points of Light Radio, the podcast dedicated to taking you past the apron and behind the closed doors of lodges everywhere. And here is your host, Stan Miller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural broadcast of Points of Light Radio. As you heard in the introduction, this is the podcast dedicated to taking you behind the closed doors and into the rooms of lodges and secret societies everywhere. And in this inaugural segment of Points of Light Radio, I'll be introducing you to the objectives of the podcast, as well as looking for your feedback. First of all, what is a secret society? or as they've been called in other times, friendly societies. And how do you define that term? Well, first of all, let's look at the definition. And I'll admit I'm quoting here from uh, Wikipedia and some other sources. The definition, you know, it generally relies on the degree to which the organization insists on secrecy. You know, it also might involve the retention and transmission of secret knowledge, right? There's also a creation of personal bonds between members of the organization. And the use, and this is very critical here from everything I've read and seen of lodges and secret societies, the use of secret rites or rituals which solidify the members of the group. Right now, one author has called it, has also added some of the following definitions or characteristics, shall we say, of a secret society or a lodge. One is the lodge has carefully graded and progressed teachings, the teachings are available only to selected individuals. The teachings lead to hidden or unique truths or knowledge, let's face it. Uh, Truths being personal benefits beyond the reach and even the understanding of the uninitiated. Let's move on from there. First of all, note of housekeeping. I am going to steer clear for the time being of the Freemasons. Now for the record, (laughs) This podcast is, I'm not doing that because this podcast is anti-Masonic. This podcast, for the record, is not anti-Masonic. You will not hear me beating up on our Masonic friends. There are enough other podcasters covering that angle. But, you know, so for the time being, let's all just leave our tinfoil hats off. I also know that many Masons hold dual membership in other lodges such as the Elks and the Oddfellows, you know, as well as many other fraternal organizations, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, one thing that puzzles me is that the first organization that comes to mind when people hear the term fraternal or secret society is the Freemasons. Now, why is that? And why are the Freemasons pretty much the primary beneficiaries of movies like Angels and Demons. Why not the Knights of Pythias, right, for instance? Or why not the Oddfellows or the Elks? And why are storied fraternal organizations such as the Oddfellows and the Pythians closing lodges? Or why is the Orange Lodge, for instance, not opening new lodges in Canadian provinces with growing populations? And what exactly goes on behind the closed doors of these lodges? Are they trying to take over the world, as some would have you believe? President John F. Kennedy once said the following in a speech, and I quote, the very word secret is repugnant in a free and open society, and we as a people are in inherently and historically are opposed to secret societies 
to secret oaths and to secret proceedings. Are secret societies really as dangerous as President Kennedy described? Or are they benign? And why do people join these fraternal organizations? Or as I said before, they used to be called friendly societies. Well, I'm gonna throw in here that at one time people, before the advent of the welfare state, if a person was looking for friendship or fellowship or help of any kind, they usually went to their family, their lodge or their church. Now, as I said, with the advent of the welfare state, for better or for worse, let's face it, those organizations, those that people traditionally relied on, have, shall we say, faded in significance. Do you think that's a good thing? You know, we're going to explore some of those questions I've just asked. And I would love to interview not only members, but also leaders of lodges. I want to go to some of the lodges and tour them for you. You know, does this sound like something you'd like to do? And what other, what other topics would you like me to cover? Where would you like to see me go with Points of Light? Well, let's get on with it. Let's go. And let's explore and learn and seek out some light, shall we? But before I leave you tonight, I want to draw your attention to some things here. First of all, this podcast is available on both YouTube and Spreaker. Please share, like, and subscribe when viewing Points of Light Radio on YouTube. I also welcome your comments and input. The voice introduction that you heard was done by Sheena on Fiverr. You can see the link to her or her handle there for Fiverr in the detail section of this podcast. The video introduction was put together by my buddy Muhammad from Fiverr. And you can see his Fiverr handle here in the detail section of this podcast. My plan is to make Points of Light available on Spotify. I'm still working on that. You can follow Points of Light Radio on my Facebook page. I'm going to try to get that up into the details section very soon. My Twitter handle is at Points of P.O. Light Radio. You can also visit my Points of Light store. You can see the details to that in the detail section of this podcast. Um, if you have a store that sells fraternal merchandise, I'm available to advertise that here on Points of Light Radio. And on a final note of housekeeping, I just want to apologize if I've sounded a little bit like Barry White during parts of uh, this segment. I'm a little something, I'm fighting a little under the weather here, but we're going to get through that. We're going to get over that. And uh, I have, I'm very optimistic about where Points of Light Radio is going to go here. Um, you know, and looking forward to seeing you again at some other point. Until next time, folks, just step into the light.